This is the iZip E3 Peak. It's a pretty interesting bike. It's the first to offer a center drive system from Curry in the iZip line, sort of similar to a Bosch electric bike, but a little bit more affordable and, and fairly unique in what they offer because they've built it in-house. And so the first thing that I noticed is that it actually has a twist throttle that you can see right there in addition to pedal assist. So this bike is really designed for off-road riding. You know, you could take it up on a, a bike trail or something like that. The center drive is gonna offer you a lot of efficiency and great torque for climbing because you're actually leveraging that drive system back here with the chain, just like you would if you were riding a bike without a motor. Uh, so this actually uses a nine-speed cassette SRAM X7. And you can see that this chain is actually sort of a, it's a different color. They've used a harder material because you are putting extra stresses on, on the chain when you're using a mid-drive system like this. You've got a RockShox XC30 fork that's got preload adjustment up here in addition to a lockout. Got these CST Patrol tires and it's actually 27.5. Uh, so 6, 650B, this is the, the wheel size that's kind of in between 26 and 29, and it's going to try to give you the best of both worlds. You've got good rolling momentum, and it's going to smooth over some of the bumps a little bit easier, uh, while not being so big that you're going to clip your toes or whatever when you're turning or, or have trouble managing the steering. I like the platform pedals they've got here. Just these, these nice metal ones. They're a little bit narrow, but they, they're decent feature and some people might swap those out for clip-ins but um, you know I'm a fan of Welgos and, and other things you can always swap them but they're much better than plastic or something they're gonna offer a stiffer better power transfer it's got the disc brakes and these are actually hydraulic so this is Tektro Aruga kind of see those up here it's mineral oil pretty solid and this actually comes in a couple of sizes, which is awesome. So they've got a medium 17 inch frame or a large 19 inch frame. And you know, that gives you, for someone like me, it's like I'm 5'9", maybe I'd go towards medium. You can really control the bike that way. But if you're a little bit taller, it's great to have a couple of options. So let's get into the electric drive system. 350 watt mid drive is pretty decent. And again, you're leveraging those gears in the back and it uses a a couple different kinds of sensors here. You can see there's a magnet there and a sensor mounted on the rear chain stay where it says iZip. That's actually like a speed sensor, so it senses whether you're moving forward or not. Then there's a cadence sensor that's inside the bottom bracket there, and it, it senses whether or not you're turning those cranks. And there's a torque sensor in there too, so this thing has just a bunch of sensors and it's designed to smooth out that ride and when we do the test ride maybe you can see that now the battery pack that's powering this is 48 volt 8.7 amp hours for a total of 417 watt hours of capacity and that's pretty good and it's removable which i really like i think the only downside to this thing is that you know it sort of displaces your water bottle mounting points you could always add one to your saddle or something like that but again a, a decent design and you have to turn it on so, you know, if I'm going to ride the bike, you press that, it sort of powers on and shows you how much capacity is remaining. And then you come up here, press the power button here, screen comes on, and uh, you can cycle through different modes with this eye. So it's like information, you can go odometer, distance, range, speed. Even as a bike, this thing rides really smoothly. And of course, mounting the battery and the motor in the middle like that keeps the weight low to the ground and kind of balances it. It also makes it much easier to, you know, change the flat or, or you know, true your wheel or deal with any, any sort of bike related maintenance. And it's got a quick release skewer there. So very cool system. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the bike and, and take it for a ride and, and show you how that works. I just wanted to demonstrate sort of my cadence versus when it kicks in and you'll you'll hear the ring kind of a high pitch almost reminds me of a dentist's office or something um but much more satisfying let's hop on and if you remember it's got uh this twist throttle that gets you going up to seven miles per hour and then kind of shuts off because it's primarily a pedal assist bike but it's neat that they kind of give you both options there's the twist throttle there we go 
sort of shuts off. It actually got me going at 10 miles per hour. Being that I'm in mode five, I mean, this thing is just, it's almost bucking me off. So I'm purposefully kind of starting and stopping. And you can see it's pretty responsive. Like after I stop pedaling, it shuts down pretty quickly. And that's what you get because of the integration of torque sensing, pedal sensing, and speed sensing all, to, all together. Um, so just really cool. For more on this bike, the full written review, pictures and stuff, check out electricbikereview.com. I'll see you there.